hey guys welcome back so today i thought i would do a march reset but from my kitchen because my husband's really ill and he's in the bedroom so anyway i thought i would start off the month of march with a march reset and i've got this cute hat on because my hair looks like crap um so yeah and i've got myself a cup of tea and there have been some exciting changes that i have to update you on this month a few changes that i've made with regard to like my health my diet my fitness routine i like to change it up i'm that kind of person i'm always like trying a new thing a new diet a new fitness routine and i've come on to some pretty good um health and wellness vibes so before i go any further further I want to just tell you a big major update. So I have tried, I have basically switched over to a new diet and it's called the low FODMAP diet. And it's like a temporary diet, but essentially the whole point of it is to work out what might be causing your digestive issues. And I have literally, like I'm 29, I have literally struggled with digestive issues for like at least 15 years. and. I've got tested for celiac disease, I've got tested for like all different kinds of things like Crohn's and they were like no you just have IBS which is kind of a blanket term and I've tried going on like I went to this woman who put all these different stones on my stomach once and told me that I had an allergy to sugar and I was like okay so what am I meant to do never eat sugar again and I even tried not eating sugar and it didn't even help so um, eventually, I've heard about the low FODMAP diet for a while and I've eventually thought it would be a good idea to try it. I've been on the diet for a week and oh my god, the changes are amazing. But what I actually think I'm going to do is because you guys might not have digestive issues that are watching this video and they don't give a crap about me talking about low FODMAP diet, I'm probably going to do a separate video just to talk you through my experience with the low FODMAP diet and keep this as more of like a March reset. But you have to know about the low FODMAP thing to understand some of the changes that I'm gonna talk about in the March reset video. Right now I'm drinking myself a lovely cup of tea with lactose-free milk because it's low FODMAP. How I like to do my resets for the month is I like to talk about what went well in the previous month, what I could improve on, and then what my goals are for the current month. In regards to February, I obviously made notes. So in regards to February, what went well is I feel like I did really well with keeping up with my 10,000 steps a day, because that is so important to me. And I worked out that if I don't do 10,000 steps a day, I'm not gonna get anywhere with like my health goals and my fitness goals and all that stuff. Like I just need to keep active. So for the month of February, my average daily steps were 10,815. And I think that's pretty good. 10,815. It's gonna stay lower for March because we're literally on day four of March. Okay, I do need to pick it up a bit. Anyway, so another thing that I said I was going to do last month in the monthly reset video is I said that I was going to bring down my, my calories in the week, which I actually did because I keep track of everything. I did really well, actually, for the month of February, like in the week. Like I really did keep my calories generally between like 1,300 to like 1,400, kind of. Um, I had a few bad days, like one week I had a bit of a bad week. I think it was like, maybe it was like my period or something. I think you guys will remember if you watched my February reset video is that I was kind of disappointed that I didn't like lose any weight. I think it was like eight stone 12 or eight stone. Yeah, I think it was my eight stone 12 at the month of January. And then I basically, I weighed myself this morning and I will put in a before and after, but I weighed myself this morning at around like eight stone nine. So I'm like, I've lost like three or four pounds. Yeah, like three pounds which on my small frame does actually make a difference. And I will put like a side to side so you can probably see the difference. And I just feel so much better. Like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling really good. Like waking up every day, feeling great. And one thing I will say, which has helped me in the last week, which is when I've started this low FODMAP diet, is I've been eating more like just whole foods and less like processed junk because at like, the low FODMAP diet, you have to like cut out loads of stuff. It's ridiculous how much you need to cut out. So it means that I've just been going leaning more towards just like, actual having like porridge and like just like whole vegetables and fruit and stuff like that instead of having like junk process kind of like bars and like all that stuff that doesn't really fill you up like crisps and all of that junk so i found it easier actually in the last like 10 days to do lower calorie because i'm eating more just like whole foods 
which I know everyone says is the key to like losing weight is just eat more whole foods, but it is actually true. And just making those calories in the week lower and being a little bit more mindful on the weekend. I'm not going like, oh my God, I'm on a diet on the weekend. I'm, I really am being good and having what I want on a weekend, like drinks, whatever. But bringing the calories down a bit lower in the week has made such a difference because it means, I think what I was doing before was I was eating like 1500 calories in the week and then going up way higher on the weekend, but it was averaging out over the week that I wasn't even in a deficit. Whereas now I know that I'm definitely in a deficit. So that's why I probably lost weight. Something else that I just wanted to say that I feel like has gone really well is like Sam and I have just been coming into our like retirement vibes. We love this routine of going out every weekend and having like porridge and toast. And now that I'm on the low format, I'm doing like soy milk, porridge and sourdough toast because you can have sourdough on the low fob map and it's made a huge difference but it's just such a nice cute routine and like just so wholesome and like we've been doing loads of walks and like just chilling and like just being in our just love bubble i guess that's what you would say now i want to just say things that did not go well in february because it wasn't all great <laughs> two things that didn't go well i did not do hardly as much running that i wanted to do i think i averaged out one, I literally averaged out pretty much like one run a week, which is so bad. I want to do at least two runs. Ideally, I said I was going to do three. So that was not great. And the other thing as well is that I didn't really do that great at like saving. And I didn't really do great at all at reading. In fact, I said I was going to read two books and I didn't even read at all. But it's fine because, you know, you can't win everything. So now let's come on to the March goals. So the March goals. So the reading, I want to put back on the thing because I've been watching this girl on YouTube and I just love her so much. I'm going to put her name. But basically what she does is she just like lives that just simple kind of pleasures lifestyle and one day she just did this vlog where she like did a youtube video and just spent the whole day like reading on her balcony and just felt so happy about it and i was like that is such a simple pleasure what i think is going to help me is if i actually get real books instead of trying to read off of my phone because when you're on your phone it's so easy to just go on tiktok so i'm going to get actual books and make time for actual reading real books and another thing that I've started alongside the low FODMAP diet is a new workout routine, which is the Swan by Carolina. And it's a bit like Tracy Anderson, a bit more yoga-ish and a bit more like Pilates-ish. And um, I've loved doing that. So I'm going to keep you updated. I might even do a whole YouTube video on that because I love it. I'm into, I've always been into like low impact, even though I do like my two little runs a week, but it's like kind of like jogs you know it's not like athletic kind of like high intensity stuff i'm all about the kind of low impact vibe and i love a pilates style workout so i'm doing the swan by carolina loving it and it's only like 20 pound a month so it's really good then a few other things that i want to do as march goals are just leaning more into that kind of like simple life like simple pleasures like reading just like slow living um walks like being good with saving literally i said this thing on my uh instagram the other day and it was like zen barbie sundays and i'm like oh my god i want to use that more zen barbie sundays like just self-care and um you know just like taking it easy and just resetting and all of that stuff and then the final thing is just i've been quite not on top of like my gratitude and visualization i've been really good at every morning when i go and like get my morning coffee i'll put on like positivity youtube videos there's this new woman that i've just found her name is like tess something and she is all about like just positivity and like how to like be your best self and i love it she's so inspirational and she's just this sweetest woman and so i want to get a bit better at visualization so all in all i think i've had a pretty good month i'm pretty pleased with my results and there's a few things obviously i'd want to work on this month and just kind of getting a bit more into yeah that's kind of it for the day so i will do a separate video about my low fog map i will link that um in the description of this video have a good month leave me comments leave me uh ideas if you do like any of this stuff what are your goals for the month of March, leave them in the comments below. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video.